so <coughs> it's day two. Sounds really, really, really bad. But yeah, it's true. It's day two of uh, who knows how many days on no PMO. So I'm starting over again. And we've been uh, for uh, Christmas holiday in Kaosog National Park. So lots of jungle. And um, have two more months of teaching. And no more of that 9 to 5 bullshit for me. At least for a while. And uh, it was just so nice to experience different nature and stuff. But yeah, I basically, after accomplishing those 101 days, I accomplished actually 104 days, I believe. I was eating uh, baked potato chips. Yeah, actually I accomplished 104 days. So a few more days after the video I published. And then uh, I actually got another wet dream. And I was just thinking like, if my body is just wants to... Uh, the wet dream was not really strong, but... I think it was a little bit wet dream, like a little squirt or something of uh, of uh, sperm. But I was just thinking, is it it's uh, better just to ejaculate to my girlfriend than just to have this wet dream, and it would affect me on a uh, pretty much the same basis, you know. And it's not that I'm gonna now ejaculate in my girlfriend and have, have orgasm on daily basis, but basically since then I ejaculated two times and so two times and now I'm back on track day one I started on uh, New Year's so it's easier to count January 1st today is January 2nd and just gonna keep going and um, I don't think I'm gonna do like 100 day challenges but I'll at least go like a month without having orgasm at a time and maybe sometimes if I don't feel like it or or my girlfriend is not gonna be here with me she's going back to Serbia so I'm gonna keep going longer for at least another month and I know I can accomplish that so but I'm not gonna be so strict like to set up some goal like 100 days or whatever but it's gonna be a lifestyle from now on um, no orgasm lifestyle no orgasm mastery instead of uh, just going all the time without orgasms and having wet dreams uh, and you can I can still experience amazing uh, benefits but I definitely felt like so let's talk now about the negative consequences especially after the second time I <coughs> came um, had an orgasm I was basically the Basically, the mental clarity was much worse, so I couldn't, I couldn't see things as straight and couldn't think uh, more rationally. Somehow, like my, how do you say that? Like quick thinking on the spot, like whether you should do something or not, was a little bit impaired. And I noticed I, I was making like I think it's called a uh, decision making, or something like that. I used to make like much. Some of the decisions were just stupid. Like after I was thinking about it after. Like, uh, it was more like a emotion or something driven rather than rationality driven. So, for example, we're renting a motorbike and um, we didn't have much money and didn't have a passport, so we had to give him some deposit. And and the guy was like, 1,000, I was just like, I'll just give him 2,000. And we had just like 400 baht left, which was not really good for us because we couldn't do much with the money. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, and there were a few more instances like, or like we went like a, for a long hike, two three hours, and I somehow thought it's gonna be short hike, and didn't want to eat before, uh, and I just wanted to go, and my girlfriend convinced me to have some lunch, and a good that we did have some lunch because it took uh, at least three hours, and we didn't have lunch before, so, so you know some sometimes like my decision making was just really bad. But it's not like I did some terrible, stupid shit, you know. It's just like these little things that you don't think about on a on a spot. But I know before, um, I would think more about something before I made a decision. And I was just kind of spontaneous, uh, you know. And not really thinking of what's going to happen in the future. So, that's about <clears throat> a little bit like sluggish. Um... It basically came at night, so the morning after was like hard to wake up and not not as sharp. 
not as a uh, but it's the same as uh, after wet dream just feel kind of more down you know until you, but it didn't take much to get back up and um I think now I'm fully it's like a, it's not like a depression state but it's like a down state where you think about like oh you know complaining more and things like that but now it's just like it's back back on the track you know and uh definitely if I was uh coming more times it would have a bigger impact you know and um, some people do that some people just come like and I used to come like three times a day before when I used to be addicted to porn and shit so I definitely see the difference when I coming but and now when after two times get back on track it's it's really good um so let me know your thoughts and um if you're doing this as a lifestyle or are you doing some challenge how many days you're on i'm doing both so because for me it's like much more motivating to count days but if i fail like once a month um not meaning fail to porn that's 100 percent no but fail like meaning orgasm during sex it's not a big deal and uh it's much better than to have seven orgas seven uh, wet dreams you know um so that's my thoughts and i'll see you in the next video